Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Diang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong umiimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kayanin kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal a new K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Jay is a student of Iris who loves watching online games like League of Legends. He also listens to K-pop groups like Twice, Blackpink, and ID. Sam is a working student who likes to watch anime and listening to music. Therese is an aspiring theater and film production manager. She's currently studying theater management in UP Diliman. Meanwhile, RK's hobbies are reading, Wattpad, watching movies and K-drama. She also listens to the K-pop group BTS. So these four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus, who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and communication at the UP Open University. We have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, ito na ang opportunity na kayo ay magpakitang gilas. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para di sayang ang effort. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. From the Latin word for lead, what term refers to the person who installs and repairs pipes and fittings of water systems? The correct answer is plumber. Question number two. What is the name of the blue muppet from the TV show Sesame Street who is intensely fond of cookies? <laughs> Yes, R.K. Elmo? I think Elmo is red. Wrong answer, sorry. And I thought everyone knew who the cookie monster was. Question number three. What edible underground tuber is the main ingredient of french fries? Potatoes. Thank God you have the correct answer. Potatoes is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number four. In geography, what is the largest island in the Philippine archipelago? Luzon is the correct answer. Question number five. In basic math, 12 is 25% of what number? Therese? 60. The answer is not correct. 12 is 25% of 48. Question number 6. What very useful liquid is known as the universal solvent? Water. Water is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number seven. How many degrees in the Celsius scale does water boil? Three. 100 degrees. 100 is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which K pop group's third English language single, Permission to Dance, Stop the Music Charge in Five Countries? RK BTS BTS is the correct answer. Ano nga ba yung BTS fan dito? Ikaw nga, correct. Question number nine. What shiny metal's name is given to the second place medal in sports competitions? Silver. 
silver. Silver is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number 10. In law and government, what do you call a member of the lower house of Congress? Okay. Senate? The answer is not correct. The correct answer is representative or congressman or congresswoman. Question number 11. The very first Disney princess who appeared in a full-length feature film made her movie debut in 1937. Who is this Disney princess? Cherise. Mulan. The answer is incorrect. Snow White. Snow White is the correct answer. Parang simulan. Parang simulan more recent. Yeah. Last question for the first round in food. What is the name of the Filipino dish made of gabi leaves with meat or seafood cooked in thick coconut milk spiced with chili? Sam. Um, Bicol Express. The answer is incorrect. Lying. But you are telling the truth. The correct answer is lying. <laughs> And that's it for our first round. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby. So, recap tayo ng points ngayon. Charisse is leading with 40 points, followed by Sam with 20, RK with 10, and Dre, kaya mo pang humabol sa mga susunod na round. Ang kagandahan dito po sa K-Check sa bawat round ay may chance palaging humabol ang ating mga contestants. Habang may round, may pag-asa. So, actually, sa mga contestants natin, si Sam ay isang working student which is always fascinating. I love working students. So, Sam, would you mind telling us, if you can, uh, being an employee and a student at the same time? I worked po ako sa, ano, sa isang fast food team. And then, medyo mahirap din po siya kasi napaka-hectic po talaga ng schedule. So, kailangan po talaga ng uh, magandang time management. So, yun po. Pinagsasabay ko po siya. Um, Nag-work po ako sa gabi and then student po ako sa morning. Saludo. Saludo. Kudos to you. Galing. Galing. Keep up the good work. So from that story of Sam, ito naman si Dre. Okay, so when you say you like watching online games, you mean yung mga gamers na naglalaro live on their social media pages, ganun ba yun? Um, yes po. And yung mga professional players po na nagla-live. Pinangarap ko din po maging professional um, online game player. Pero ngayon po is that um, so sobrang tagal na po si Goris, I think I had I'd had enough na po. So naging yung paglalaro ko na lang po is for hobby na lang and para mawala po yung stress ko. Oh, pero thank you contestants for sharing your stories. They're inspiring and enlightening at the same time. So next up, round 2 po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Sarish is leading with 40 points, followed by Sam with 20 points, RK with 10 points, and Dre, susubukan humabol sa mga susunod na rounds. So, talagang pwede pang humabol. But in the meantime, Sarish, what is it about the worlds of stage and movie production that draws your interest? Bata pa lang po ako, pangarap ko na maging isang production manager. So, 8 years old, uh, naging immersed na po ako sa mundo ng pelikula and sa iba't ibang production po. Kaya, ito yung nag-push ka na mag-take ng theater arts din para kung sakala may background din po ako for theater and film production. Pero ayaw mo maging artista? Kung may chance po, go! Whichever yung mauna. <laughs> Tama. Ito namang si RK. Mahilig magbasa ng Wattpad. So, RK, yung pagsulat din ba ng storya sa Wattpad, eh, interesado ka rin gawin in the future para ikaw rin naman yung susubaybayan sa kababasahin. Okay na po ako sa pagbabasa na lang and support po sa mga ibang writer po. Okay na po siya. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga contestants natin. Mag-ready na kayo dahil eto na ang round 2. Contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure to strategize 
correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin! Question number one. What athletics event at the Olympics do competitors jump once to register the farthest distance? Therese. High jump. High jump is melee. Anyone can steal. Arcade. Long jump. Long jump is correct. Paycheck. Question number two. Weighing up to 8,000 pounds, which mammal has a bulky body on stumpy legs, an enormous head, has name which means river horse in Greek? RK. Rhinosaurus. Rhinosaurus is Malay. The correct answer is hippo or hippopotamus. Question number three. What SI unit of force named after a British scientist is equal to the amount of force needed to accelerate a one kilogram mass one meter per second squared? Gray. Um, Newton. Newton is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Who was the host? of the 2015 Miss Universe pageant who incorrectly announced that Miss Colombia won the title. Sam. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What is the most common color in the flags of the world? It stands out in the flags of Monaco, Indonesia, Canada, Japan, among others. Therese. Red. Red is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What holy city is the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad? Three. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is Malay. Sam. Jerusalem. Jerusalem is Malay. Dre. Israel. Israel is Malay. Okay, do you want to answer? The correct answer is Mecca. Country yung nabagit mo kasi. Okay. Question number seven. Which barangay in Makati has a name that is associated with a place in Mexico where the Virgin Mary appeared to San Juan Diego? The correct answer is Guadalupe. Question number eight. In basketball leagues, what is the common team name for the Suns in the NBA and the Fuel Masters in the PBA? Gray. Phoenix. Phoenix is correct. Paycheck. Question number nine. What breed of small dogs with a long body and short legs has name that means badger hound? RK. Chihuahua. Chihuahua is Malay. The correct answer is Dakshan. Okay, question number 10. What chemical element has the symbol BE in atomic number 4? Therese, unfortunately, hindi ko pwede accept yung answer mo kasi you answered before I acknowledged you. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng deduct. Okay, so let's follow the rules. So I'll repeat the question for the remaining three um, contestants. Question number 10, what chemical element has the symbol BE and atomic number 4? RK. Beryllium. Beryllium is correct. Okay, check. Okay, before I proceed, gusto ko lang i-recognize na tie kayong apat at 30 points each. Okay, so very close fight. Okay, let's move on. Question number 11. What dinosaur that appeared in the film Jurassic Park has a long head with a flat snout and a large sickle-shaped claw on the second toe of each foot? The correct answer is Velociraptor. Nanood ba kayong Jurassic Park noon? Or yung bago lately? Sige. Last question for this round. Number 12. 
which wealthy private subdivision in Makati was named after the fifth American Governor General of the Philippines? Okay. Forbes? Forbes or Forbes Park is correct. Kate check. And that ends our round number two. This is a hotly contested yes. round two with RK leading at 50 points and all the rest of our contestants tied for second place with 30 points each. Very close fight, pero Very hindi close. pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap muna tayo. Very tight po ang competition natin. Si RK po ay may 50 points. Siya ang leading ngayon. Samantala, si Blaine, si Sam at si Charisse naman ay all tied with 30 points. But even with that lead, it's still anybody's game right now. So we shall see. And especially because this round is very important. And it's now time for that round. The ultimate pagalingan round. At sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan para mas exciting. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each. At may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Good luck! Let's begin! Let's begin. First question will come from Prof. Marian. Easy muna tayo. Which unit is not used to measure the intensity of light? A. Candela, B, Lumen, C, Watt, D, Lux, or E, None of the Above. Hindi joke yung term na Candela, pero para siyang Candela. Candela, um, Lumen, and Lux all measure intensities, various intensities of light. But, so the best answer here, so not used will be what, which measures power. Thank you so much. Prof. Neil, next question please. Yeah, usapang geografiya at turismo. Sa anong probinsya ng Pilipinas ginaganap ang Mascara Festival? A. Aklan B. Antique C. Capiz Iloilo E. Negros Occidental Sam? A po Aklan Mali Therese? B po, Antique Mali Ang kabisera ng probinsyang ito ay Bacolod Dito ginaganap ang Mascara Festival Ang tamang sagot ay letter E Negros Occidental. Thank you so much, Prof. Gigi. To call sa ating mga manunulat, this writer was named Philippine National Artist for Literature in 2006. So ito ang ating pagpipilian. A. Nicanor Tiongson B. Butch Dalisay B. Bienvenido Lumbera D. Jimmy Abad E. Benilda Santos So this writer also is a recipient of the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Journalism, Literature and Creative Communication in 1993 and Carlos Palanca Memorial Award for Literature in 1975 So the correct answer is Bienvenido, Lumbera. Prof. Maria, next question. Who is referred to as the father of electromagnetism? A. Isaac Newton B. Michael Faraday C. James Clark Maxwell D. George Ohm and E. Archimedes of Syracuse Okay, although lahat sila ay father of something, okay, 
um, the first to describe electricity, magnetism, and light as different manifestations of the same phenomenon. I see James Clark Maxwell. Thank you so much, Prof. Neil. Go ahead. Hindi ko alam kung marirelax kayo sa tanong na ito. <laughs> World history. What empire destroyed Jerusalem in 70 CE or Common Era? A. Arab B. Greek C. Persian D. Roman E. Sumerian Archaic E. Sumerian Mali Sam A. Po Arab Mali Charisse Roman po So tamang nakapag-relax si Charisse maging ang ibang contestant Okay Halos ang buong lungsod ng Jerusalem ay nasira dahil sa paglusog ng hukbo ng imperyong ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Roman. Ito, pang, pang relax ito. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the Japanese art form of flower arranging? A. Origami B. Ikebana C. Washi D. Imari E. Nashiji it is a flower arrangement that expresses emotion, just like sculpture and paintings. The composition is most often asymmetrical. The answer is Ikebana. Something new again, no? Metal strength depends on several properties like tensile, compressive, and an impact strength. With these properties considered, which of the following is not considered as one of the hardest metals? A. Chromium B. Gold C. Titanium D. Tungsten or E. Vanadium Okay, akala ng iba ito ay hard kasi ginagawa siyang alahas. It's heavy, dense, but soft. Gold is the correct answer. Asian history. Sino ang nagtatag ng huling shogunato ng Japan? A. Fujiwara Yorifusa B. Oda Nobunaga C. Toyotomi Hideyoshi D. Tokugawa Iyasu E. Takeshi Ashikaga Tumagal ang shogunato nito mula 1603 hanggang 1867. Bumagsak ang shogunato nito nang nangyari ang Meiji Restoration ng 1868. Ang nagtatag ng shogunato nito ang hinahanap kong sagot sa tanong. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Tokugawa, Tokugawa Iyasu. French painter Claude Monet, who is an Impressionist, is most known for his paintings of what? A. Ballet dancers B. Polynesian women C. Water lilies D. Fruits and vegetables E. Sunflowers R.K. C. Water lilies the water lily paintings are the most popular paintings in the impressionistic style done by Monet. He did 250 water lily paintings. So the answer is water lilies. K I K check. Relax, pwede pa. Which of the following? is not a basic property of light. A. Light is an electromagnetic wave. B. Light is considered to transfer in a straight line. C. The frequency of light changes from medium to medium. D. Light travels faster than sound. Or E. None of the above. Okay, ang tamang sagot ay C, the frequency of light changes from medium to medium, meaning falls yon. 
frequency remains constant. Thank you. Prof Neil, for your last question. Okay, huling tanong par- mula sa akin, sino ang kilalang historiador na sumulat ng marami aklat tulad ng director reader, the Philippines, a past revisited, Philippines, a continuing past, and the miseducation of the Filipino. A. Teodoro Agoncillo, B. Renato Constantino, C. Onofre Corpus, D. Samuel Tan, E. Gregorio Saife. Sinulat din eh, ng may akda ang sumusunod. The Making of a Filipino, Philippine Colonial Politics, The Aquino Watch, at The Essential Tanyata. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Renato Constantino. Thank you so much. After our last question, Prof. G. What style of painting most emphasizes an immediate visual image of a scene? A. Cubism B. Impressionism C. Surrealism D. Fauvism E. Op Art Okay, this is the style of painting that emphasizes capturing the immediate visual impression of a scene. It focuses on depicting the effects of light and color in a spontaneous and loose manner, aiming to convey the atmosphere or the mood. Ang tawag po dyan ay Impressionism. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to RK! Our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 65 points. We'll see RK again tomorrow when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Congratulations, RK. Of course, we'd like to thank Dre, Sam, and Charisse for our contestants and to our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of K-Check. K-Check.